I'm Karen Sutherland from Edible Eat Design and the world does need you to grow your own food. I got this shout out to North, from Northcote Community Garden Red Bubble page. Favourite t-shirt. So here I'm looking at more protection for plants and it's always thought that mulch should be on your vegetable garden all year round. However, in the past I've had really quite bad problems with earwigs and also slaters. Now earwigs are known to be a garden pest but slaters are thought of as the great decomposers. But little grey, let's we'll see if we can find any, little grey armoured looking creatures that are thought of as being really harmless. So for the moment, while I'm planting, while I'm getting these plants in and established, I'm going to take the mulch away. Another thing you can do is to remove your mulch once a year and, and this autumn winter time is a good time to do it because it prevents pests overwintering, as we call it, pests and, and some diseases too. So remove the mulch, sounds weird, but you know, this is for a specific purpose. It's for garden hygiene. Oops, the garden hygiene in organic gardening to prevent having to use even organic pest control. So we're clearing out the old mulch and just putting it down the side. I may put it back again when the plants are bigger and stronger, or I may not. If I find a slater, I'll let you know. There were heaps in here before. We found that in planting out hundreds of vegetable seedlings in this garden, in my mum's garden, because it had this hay mulch, this straw mulch, I should say, all year round, it was full of slaters. And they were nibbling the plant stems, even of perennial plants, like salt bushes we were planting. They had scallops out of the sides of them and they weakened the stems of the plants. So anything we plant now with this straw, we put a cut out pot, let's grab you one. You put a cut out pot, a, a, cut, a pot with its bottom cut out, around the plants. Now, I've shown you in the previous videos here, or other videos on the YouTube site where I've done this, and I thought, okay, for this bed, I won't have any mulch nearby until it gets established. The conditions are quite mild, it's autumn, they're varying between mid-twenties to mid-teens, so it's not essential that we have mulch on at the garden at this, sta this stage. And the other thing I'd like to point out is I'm planting with a really, really deep trail, and that a long trail, and that does help to get um, good soil um, penetration, I guess, or you know, to get into the soil really well. And I'm just popping that little radicchio in. Here I've done a bit of a circle of five coloured chard, also called rainbow chard. So I started with a red one in the centre, and then I've gone around with some yellow and green coloured chard or silver beet. Then another red circle and then another green and yellow and now I'm finishing off with some radicchio and leafy lettuce. This is one of the slaters. Sometimes they're much shinier than this. This is a younger one. I'm using very actively. But these are the critters that have actually been chewing up our vegetable seedlings when they're young. So we have to put him into the mulch outside the garden and let the seedlings get up to a decent stage before we put mulch on. Fresh mulch too.